Before I hard save, hey there, banker guy! What's up? How, m how many how many rupees do I have in the bank? Yeah, I got 4,999 rupees. I wonder what'll happen if I deposit just one more. But, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put all all my rupees in there. Just 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 for the sake of that. And he's like, seriously, oh my god! Holy poopers, you got over 5,000 rupees! Ho 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 ho! My little guy, I can't take any more deposits. Sorry, but this is all I can give you. It's a piece of heart. Yeah. Yeah. Needless to say, after resetting time, I've got to kind of resupply my explodables as well as shootables, so to speak. And there we go. So now we have access to the dungeon again. <laughs> I also forgot to slow the current of time uh, when I reset time at first, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, those these switches are for those three blocks to get back as well. But anyway, I, I just burned like maybe an hour or so. It's not that much time in, in the game's time. So, Stone Tower Temple! Game's fourth main dungeon! And we are in! And we've got dragonflies of all things. I guess it sort of makes sense because they're high up and up. Is that bomb chew just gonna ignite itself and then move around in circles? I was watching the bomb chew, not you. <laughs> yeah, because that, yeah, that bomb chew can't really get off of that platform that it's on. It just kind of sticks there due to its feet. See that? Yeah, just kind of looping in circles. <laughs> uh, oh, that works. Oh. Ah, uh, maybe that doesn't quite work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it this way. I thought that the hook shot would do just fine, but alas, alas, it doesn't. <laughs> I guess a, a spiky tip means nothing to them. Um, so what do I want to do here? Oh, oh, you actually got off the platform somehow. Interesting. <laughs> well, first, I guess what I can do here is uh, take a look see down here. You're just going to notice that things are looking kind of weird, like there's doors on the ceiling, there's fairies and jars, only that's not really unusual. <laughs> but uh, I, I guess it's not unusual for Zelda, it, it, it is for IRL, but and yeah, there's, there's all sorts of weird stuff going on here, and there isn't any light for the sun, it's just like, what? What the heck? Why? What? This is, this is unheard of. I've never seen anything like this. Well, this is a pretty unique dungeon in uh, the Zelda universe, and you'll see why as we'll get into it here, but I, I don't know which way that I'd like to go first. I think I'll go this way, I think, because I think this way leads to the dungeon. Oh, no. Unless, uh, yeah, there's no nothing reflective there. <laughs> okay, so I, that, that, that's, that's not the way that I'm going. It, it's the other way. <laughs> I always like to go towards where the dungeon map is first, and I thought it was down that way. Maybe I'm thinking of the compass, I don't know. Eh, whatever, I just wanna... Okay, there you go. Just don't wanna get bomb chewed there. But what I do wanna do is bomb the walls, because this is obviously breakable. And let's take a look-see around here. Uh, yep, there you go. <laughs> it's just so easy to defeat them if you know where they are. Uh, hey there. <laughs> so yeah, there's obviously these switches that are uh, different sizes for different weights, I guess you could say, for yeah, different characters. There's also some on the ceiling, again, mysteriously on the ceiling. Like what? What is? What is with this? What is? I don't. Uh, this is crazy. And I'd like to break all these crates, by the way, if you don't mind. <laughs> I think this is the way that the game intended you to resupply, actually is stuff like this inside the dungeons, but I just find it much, much quicker to uh, kind of bash things around in the, in the overworld. <laughs> uh, so since I need a, a weightier fellow for that bigger switch, I'll put on this Zora mask, and... Yep, we're still not done with the Elegy of Emptiness, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not over, and there's still more to do with the Elegy of Emptiness. <sighs> Put that there. <laughs> I don't need the Zora, I don't believe, from here on out. Let's uh, put another one here. 
Mm. Oh shoot, oh shoot. I got my order mixed up. <laughs> I'm trying my best to memorize it so I don't have to keep looking at the piece of paper because it's a little bit faster that way. And there we go. Allergy of emptiness on another switch. Um, and there's this one, which is so big that you need the Goron for. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Yep. <laughs> the last one I think you don't need anything for. I think you just need to have all four switches pressed at the same time, if I recall correctly. So, there we go. I'll just take this off, actually. I'll have more mobility. <laughs> so if I press this, this opens, but does it close if I go off of it? Uh, it does. Okay, so maybe I guess I do need the powers of the Deku, but I didn't think that the Deku had enough weight for said switches. Yeah, I didn't think so. So what is the trick to this? Kind of forgot, actually. <laughs> Unless I only need uh, a few of these switches. Like, maybe only the ones near the door. I kind of forgot. But we'll see here. Let's just pop this on here and just that on there because yeah the Deku does not have the weight to do any of the switches so yeah I don't really know what's really up with that <laughs> unless there's a smaller switch just for the Deku but I don't recall that so okay let's just go off it oh it still reset the door so let's try another one like was this the one for the Deku because it's Slightly smaller? I don't... I don't know if it's really slightly smaller, though. <laughs> hmm... Hmm... Uh-oh, I remember. Those crates that I destroyed. Whoops! I gotta reset the room. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean when I get back in and redo my stuff. Okay, so I got the third one on the third switch. Goron, of course, goes in the upper corner. But the thing about it is that once you have this room open over here, like, remember there's these crates blocking the, the smaller crates in back? I'll grab one of those smaller crates. I, I, this should have been obvious to me based on the number of switches. But put it on this thing here just by kind of using your shield to drop it on there. And sure enough, all switches hold open. Look at that. It's like magic. <laughs> and kill you, because you don't have a hope in the universe that's standing up against my arrows. Oh! Nor, oops, I should say, nor do you, because my arrows are just too fast. I think I gotta bomb this. So let's get out the bombs. And let's take a look see around here before I. There, yeah, see, I yeah, added bombs. <laughs> I just want, oh shoot, that's right, I put away my arrows. I actually think I need the Goron mask for the next room, but... Eh, details. <laughs> so there's still more upside-down uh, stuff here, and yeah, it's just looking weird, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, it'll make sense to you if you really think about it. But for now, since I opened up the light in this room, let's just go ahead and uh, blast away this block. Oh, I should say vaporize this block. And there's some armos hanging around in this room too, but there's also lava. Um, so what you want to probably do here is get go around up and see these, see these, these guys. See them? Yeah, if you touch them, they'll go like, "Oh no, I'm alive!" Yeah, don't touch it, blow it up before it wakes, please. But you can also do, uh, you can also do punches in the back. Yeah, that'll work too, <laughs> because it's got a weakness if you look on on their backs. Uh, oh, maybe it's not showing on these, uh, because it's not an actual... Hold on, let's see here. Uh, oh no, this one doesn't show it either. Oh, okay, there we go, it's gotta be... ...reignited, I guess you could say, to show its, uh, back crack marks and stuff like that, so yeah. Alright, let's open up this chest. <laughs> now this, I, I do believe, actually does contain the dungeon map, if I recall correctly. Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> Voila! But that's not the only thing that's here, if I recall correctly. Uh, I just want to kind of kill off these guys really quick, because I know. Oh, well, okay, you just, just explode yourselves. That works. Yeah, when they when they die, they explode. 
these aren't the ones that are uh, explosive or anything like that. It's just, just you know, they're they're here. You can grab them and move them around though. But the thing that I wouldn't think I need to do is, yeah, go up over up there. But I just want to see if there's any sort of prize for killing off all these duders. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, they can't get up. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, they, they, I thought they couldn't get up those little steps, but I guess they can. So they can follow me into this corner if they wanted to. So I kind of trapped myself, but yet got lucky. All right, what's in here is the thing that we need. It is a key. Yeah, baby. But that's not the only route we have to take. We're going to take. This away, up a here, uh, and I think it'll just plop me on a platform. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, there's this over here as well. If you open up, it's a stray fairy. It's our first one. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Okay, let's go back up. <laughs> I think I'll do the next stream with the key and then end off the part. Probably, we'll see. Because I, I, I think it's a relatively longish room. If I recall correctly, we'll see here. Oh yeah, it is. Kind of, well, maybe not. Maybe not. It's, it's it's a Zora room basically. But the thing is that there's a couple of different puzzles hanging out around here. Like there's obviously this one here, which is that's, that's just something in the future actually. But there's other stuff that we actually need the help of a Dexy hand for. Um, this one actually got me on my first playthrough because I always killed off the Dexy hand thinking that I wouldn't be of any use. But it is, in fact, incredibly useful. Just watch this, watch this. It'll grab onto you, and then it'll throw you onto the platform. Now, normally you can't get up here without that, which is very smart of the game. Because <laughs> it doesn't hurt to be grabbed by the Dexy hand or anything like that, so... Yeah, just... And that's you, a Sabal key. And, uh, actually, this isn't the room that I was thinking of that'll take me a while to do. It's actually something else, because the things that I need for that... Those sun giblets, those sun blocks over there, I don't actually have, so I've got to continue on to the next room. There we go. And look at that switch on the ceiling. But don't don't pay that any mind. Let's, let's put it that way. And I'm gonna try and woo fancy. <laughs> uh, there are these there are these mirrors. Is it a mirror? This thing's like a different from your everyday mirror. Yeah, it it does, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm, um, well first, let's actually go all the way down to the, uh, oh yeah, that's right, I can't move when I'm going downwards, because, you know, Zora controls just gotta, just gotta complicate things for the sake of complicating things. Just wanna show you around here, uh, hey, run into me please, thank you. <laughs> Are you guys just keep continually spawning or something? Uh, so yeah, there's rupees and there's critters on the base. There's a switch on the bottom. Oh! Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be kinda difficult to take care of them. Because, well, maybe not. Maybe it'll be okay. There we go. <laughs> I just wanna kill all the critters to make sure that I... Oh, where'd the other one? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, th I thought it went the other way. Whee! Okay, one more. Uh, uh, oh, that that did it? Um, oh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go and blow myself up here to speed things along. And this is just to set things up for the future. Don't mind me. <laughs> because that, that switch stays down. But we can't actually get it because it's on the ceiling. Um, I think that is all we need to do here at the moment in time. I think... Hold on, I just want to see. I think, I think this is the place that we were already through. With the Dexy hand. Yeah, it was. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back the other way. I got a little confused as to my directions. But the other way is, you know, the other route out of this room is up through this way here. And see, there's a, li there's a little light here. What you're supposed to do here is, uh, you're supposed to charge up this mirror here with enough light. See this? See this? And just give it, give it a second or two. And then when that is charged up, just use that light to reflect that light into the block. Now this is leading me back to the main room, and I was right about where the compass was, I mean the, 
the, yeah, that the compass was, or dungeon map was on one of the routes. It was down over here, but I forgot that there was a block blocking it. Yeah. Compass. Voila. And oh, oh, it got me from behind because I didn't turn around fast enough. <laughs> so yeah, this is back over at the main room. See that? Yeah. So I don't have to do anything there. There's three chests that you see in the middle there in that other room, but we don't have access to any of those. That is okay because we have access to this key door right over here, and that is what we need. Is that bomb shoe still following me? I'm, I'm kind of scared to find out, so I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, this is the long room that I was thinking of that I was going to end off the part afterwards. See, there's a bunch of sun switches, a bunch of bows, <laughs> there's a bunch of mirrors that you have to charge and stuff, so clear out the room first of uh, stuff that can get in your way. And, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, do you just got- I think you guys just keep respawning, don't you? Well, that's gonna be a pain. <laughs> uh, so remember these sorts of things? Are these all piled on top of one another? Well, you might not remember these sort of things, but yet you might when I do this. <laughs> yeah, from the second dungeon. Those things that you- they, they, that they slide out from other things. Yup, those things. Okay, so first off, yeah, let's just do the sun switches on the walls here. I believe most of them are red herrings, uh, but I'm just going to do them anyway. Just for the sake of fun. And by fun, I mean this is going to take a while because if there's a cutscene for each of them. And yeah, that one didn't work. Uh, I think that's going to... he's going to get killed when it goes in the light or... Oh, what? Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> ah, whatever. Uh, okay, let's just get our twitchy thumb to carefully... Actually, you know, I'm holding my thumb in place. It's kind of like twitching on its own. Might be the control stick for all I know. Oh, 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 okay, it worked. <laughs> okay, so I got, I got myself a treasure chest. Just one out of all the ones that I opened there. I think it contains a fairy, actually. Yeah, that's what I thought. And... Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, now what do I want to do, obviously, is charge up the mirrors to get stuff opened up here. And, uh, I wanted to do a spin attack there, and my spin attack is failing me. That's okay, I just want to get myself in a more comfortable position here to charge up the mirror. The longer you hold it on there, the longer it'll charge, although it's up to a limit. Uh, oh, that worked. <laughs> and then I will take a look-see. So I'm spinning here, I'm trying to get a spin going on. Oh! Whatever. <laughs> I just want to get... Oh, yeah, that's right, you're here. <laughs> I don't care if I get blown up. I just want to open this up and uh, get myself another stray fairy. There you go. Alright, now to go around the other way... Well, actually, it doesn't matter which way you do it, I suppose. You just gotta, kind of got to go and do this in sequence. Oh, that was perfectly aligned, the way that I sat myself up there. And then go over here. Face yourself slightly to the right so that you're able to reflect the light onto that one. Ah, poopers! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a it's, it's a bunch of setup time, which is why this room takes a while. Um, so let's try this again here. And those bows get in your way quite badly. Just saying. I wonder if I could get the light all the way over to uh, this one here on my first shot. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Like, w like, will my light actually reach all the way? I don't think it will. Ah, poopers. <laughs> and the, I don't think the bunny hood's gonna help me with this, but let's just see if I can cheese this by touching that other one with light. No? No, okay, fine. So I gotta do this properly. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Charge up. Lot of charging here. Lot. No, no, no. Lot. Lots of charging. I, I said. I say. Lot. <laughs> Out of my way. Ah, lots of charging. Okay, I got it in a perfect position this time. And... Go. <laughs> see if I can get... Okay, perfect position two times in a row. What is this craziness? I'll try and charge as much as I can here. There we go. And... There we go. Finally, huh? <laughs> and those blocks are done. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look, see here. I'll blow myself up again just to speed things along. They don't cause that much damage or anything like that. It's more it's more comedic than anything up at this point. <laughs> I don't think I actually took any damage there. 
that's kind of why did I why did I try and swing my sword at that? I don't know. It's kind of funny like that. <laughs> okay, so since they keep respawning infinitely, I, I'm just gonna yeah you know, I'm gonna assume that there isn't any sort of enemy destruction thing that pops out when you uh, complete the stream of defeating all the enemies and uh, end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next part when I go through that door and continue my trek through the dungeon! I'm, I probably should pause the game though, that would, that would probably be wise. 